Hello beautiful soul, welcome to Infinite Manifestations. Let me ask you a question, what would you do or accomplish if you knew you couldn't fail? Have you ever opted not to do anything because you were frightened of failing? Or has your fear of failure meant that you have unconsciously undercut your own attempts to avoid a greater failure? Many of us have undoubtedly experienced this at some point in our lives. Fear of failure may paralyze us, causing us to accomplish nothing and hence reject going forward. When we allow fear to stop us from moving ahead in life, we risk missing out on some fantastic opportunities. There is this hidden force that controls master number 22 life path. If you could only change this one hidden force, I promise you, you'll be unstoppable. The idea that numbers have power and may influence a person's life and qualities is intriguing. However, this is 100% accurate. Every number from 1 to 9 has an impact on our lives in some way. We must obtain our life path number, which is derived using our birth date. Master numbers, unlike life path numbers, cannot be reduced to a single digit. Instead, they are preserved as double-digit digits. Three primary master numbers exist. These are master number 11, 22, and 33. Master numbers are seen to have magical abilities and more potential than all other life path numbers in numerology. Having 22 in your numerology chart is incredibly significant. Master number 22 has the power to make hopes and desires come true. As a result, it is also known as the master builder in numerology. Master number 22 assists us in discovering our spiritual path and the meaning of our lives. The power of master number 22 is such that it channels cosmic energies to allow the native to live his dream. They also have the power of the master number 11, which makes them outstanding dreamers but keeps them grounded by the practical character of the number 4. They add idealism to force realism and have a positive effect in the world by building strong foundations. Combining these tremendous forces provides 22 enormous potential for achievement, the highest of any life path number. The intuitive energy is important to master number 22. People with master number 22 have the skill and capability to build something pure and valuable that will benefit the greater good in the future. Master number 22 has enormous but balanced strength. Those who are endowed with the powers of master number 22 should keep in mind that all that they want to or dream of will only become a reality with additional hard effort and a balanced approach. You must be practical while still visualizing your goals. The credo for experiencing the master number 22 powers should be to be hopeful throughout difficult situations. Living up to the 22's immense potential, like master number 11, might be one of the most challenging tasks on its life path. The 22 life path has the potential to be a master builder, employing spiritual understanding to create something spectacular on earth. However, 22's may fall between the cracks, crushed by the weight of their promise, and achieve very little. It takes patience. Overcoming the hidden force that controls master number 22 life path means overcoming fear and anxiety in the first place. I know it's easier said than done, but this is your current biggest struggle. You are equipped with internal tools to make a difference. Most master number 22s perceive the beauty in an idea and have the practical abilities to turn it into a reality. They can also weigh up ideas against practical parameters and know intuitively whether it will work or not. Number 22s are also known for sharing their expertise and encouraging others to pursue their aspirations. They are frequently referred to as master teachers, and for good reason, they are endowed with the ability to lead by example. Now, listen carefully to understand the origins of failure dread. We must first define the term failure. We all define failure differently because we all have different benchmarks, values, and belief systems. A failure for one individual may be a terrific learning experience for another. Many of us, at least part of the time, are frightened of failure. However, fear of failure occurs when we allow that fear to prevent us from doing the things that will help us reach our goals. Fear of failure can be caused by a variety of factors. For some people, having unsupportive or critical parents is a reason. They carry those bad sentiments into adulthood since they were constantly undermined or humiliated as children. A traumatic experience in your life might also be a reason. Assume you delivered a crucial presentation in front of a large group some years ago and performed terribly. It's possible that the event was so traumatic that you got terrified of failing in other areas, and you still have that fear years later. Becoming aware of this condition and reflecting about your situation would be your first step to overcome your fear of failure. If you have a fear of failure, you may suffer some or all of the following symptoms. An unwillingness to explore new things or participate in difficult initiatives. Self-sabotage, such as procrastination, excessive worry, or failing to follow through on plans. Low self-esteem or self-confidence, sometimes expressed through negative words such as I'll never be good enough to achieve that promotion, or I'm not intelligent enough to make that team. Perfectionism is the readiness to do just those tasks that you are confident you will complete flawlessly and satisfactorily. Master number 22 should also be aware of boredom. 
they must put their talents to use in the actual world or they will become aimless. As previously said, 22s are outfitted with internal tools to make a difference. They see the beauty in a concept and have the practical skills to make it a reality. They may also assess ideas against realistic parameters and determine whether or not they will function intuitively. It's nearly impossible to go through life without failing at some point. People who do this are presumably so careful that they never go anywhere. Simply put, they aren't living at all. But the amazing thing about failure is that we have complete control on how we see it. We might choose to view failure as the end of the world or as evidence of our own inadequacy. We may also view failure as the amazing learning experience that it often is. Every time we fail at something, we might choose to search for the lesson we're intended to learn. These lessons are critical, they are how we learn and avoid making the same faults again. Failures only hold us back if we let them. In life, most of us will fall and slip at one point or another. Doors will slam in our faces, and we may make poor choices. But imagine if Michael Jordan had given up on his ambition of being a basketball player after being cut from that team. Consider what would have happened if Richard Branson had listened to those naysayers who told him he'd never be able to achieve anything important without a high school graduation. Consider the chances you'll pass up if you let your failures define you. Failure may also teach us something about ourselves that we would not have known otherwise. For example, failure might let you realize how powerful you are. Failing at something might lead to the discovery of your truest friends or the discovery of unexpected desire to achieve. Many times, significant insights emerge only after a failure. Accepting and learning from those insights is critical to achieving success in life. It's important to realize that in everything we do, there's always a chance that we'll fail. Facing that chance and embracing it is not only courageous, it also gives us a fuller, more rewarding life. I realize that even those of us who thought we were well on our way to self-awareness or enlightenment may succumb to fear and become paralyzed. Our excitement is put on hold by fear. No matter how delighted we are cognitively, fear has the potential to grasp and keep that excitement. This manifests itself in a variety of ways. And if we are not aware, it has the potential to bring us to our knees. So here are four crucial key factors to consider. Overthinking everything accomplishes nothing. Yes, fear allows us to get paralyzed by analysis. When we allow fear to penetrate our joy, we stop moving forward. The sheer concept of pushing through and moving toward a more pleasant mood paralyzes us. We become locked in the what-if loop, conjuring up mental images of numerous worst-case scenarios. When we are afraid, our brain stops recognizing prior triumphs and becomes entirely focused on the perceived dread of the upcoming event. Uncertainty and fear paralysis us, and we get trapped in a downward spiral. What is the solution? Start doing instead of analyzing. Don't be afraid of change. Fear causes imposter syndrome. What if we're not up to the task? What if we aren't powerful enough? What if, when we allow our minds to fall into this mode of thinking, we give up control to fear? We doubt the chance we've been given because we're afraid others may find out who we truly are. Fears impair our capacity to think properly and feel the exhilaration that the circumstance demands. Fear halts our optimism since we've unconsciously convinced ourselves that we're frauds who aren't good enough in this scenario. Fears trick our minds into believing that previous accomplishments had nothing to do with us and were the consequence of luck or timing. The excitement about the new chance has subsided. You have to turn off this type of negative thinking. Without your permission, no one or nothing can make you feel inadequate. Period. You are always good enough right now and you can always grow in all areas of your life. No matter how old you are or in which circumstances you are right now. Once upon a time, the physical manifestations of fear and anxiety worked in our favor, the fight or flight instinct, the surge of adrenaline in our system, and the feeling that our body was on high alert. When presented with a scenario that threatened our lives, these physical feelings protected us. Thankfully, genuine physical risk is rare these days. While our conscious minds may be aware of this, our subconscious physical instincts are slower to catch on. As a result, when we experience fear about a life event or a fresh opportunity, the emotion triggers the same physical cycle. Fear causes us to physically break down, putting our enthusiasm on hold. These symptoms, ranging from heart palpitations to fast breathing, heighten emotions of panic and anxiety. But this is all in our heads. Take a deep breath and return your attention to the truth. Your truth. Always remember, you are not alone in feeling fearful and alone. Fear's most potent means of putting our enthusiasm on hold is by signaling us to withdraw. When we allow apprehension to triumph over enthusiasm, we feel both ashamed and terrified. We tell ourselves that no one else has gone through what we have or will ever feel the way we do. We get caught up in how overwhelming and strong our fear is. We shrink into isolation and overthinking, which feeds our anxieties since we are devoid of joy, ashamed, and terrified. However, you are not alone. So many of us are fighting the same battle you are. We're in this together. Push back on fear and deprive it of its ability to put your joy on hold. 
Take control of your fear and turn it into thankfulness. Remind yourself of the silver lining in every seemingly frightening scenario. Take action. Moving slowly toward what we fear is the first step toward realizing that reality is seldom as frightening as it appears. I'd love to hear from you. How has fear put your happiness on pause? What has it stopped you from doing? What have you done in the past to break this cycle of fear? Please leave a comment below and share your thoughts and insights. Be open to receive and I hope to see you in my future. If you like this video please give it a fearless thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.